So here's the facts. I grew my hair from one inch to waist length and I could have done it a lot faster if I used different methods to do it. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. It used to take me hours uh, and I don't have time for that no more. Today I'm going to share with you what I would have changed about the routine that I did use way back when to grow my hair. I'm going I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to let you know. <laughs> I'm going to let you know the things that I loved about my old routine, the things that I would keep the same. I'm gonna let you know why I would change the things that I would change. And I'm of course gonna let you know the actual things that I would change and what I would do instead. So stay tuned. I get married, I'm gonna wear my hair like this and I'm gonna be like, I am your Valentine's. Don't you see this part? <laughs> I'm such a cool Anyway. Mm. Oh my gosh, y'all, I just dropped my laptop <laughs> and landed on my feet, so it's good. Oh, okay. Okay, so I just recently posted a video about my old, my old routine that I used to grow my hair. I got a lot of questions about what I did to grow my hair to tailbone length and it's waist length now because I cut it, but it's almost, it's getting back there already. Anyways, I got a lot of questions about what routine I used to grow my hair and if I used oils and butters in the process of growing my hair. So I decided to release an old video that I recorded. I wanted to be fully transparent in that I did not always have my way of thinking that I have now. I did not always have all the information that I have now in regards to natural hair. So I did want to share with you and be transparent and let you know how I actually did grow my hair. Now with that said, a lot of problems came along with how I grew my hair and that led to me having to chop off inches and inches and inches, really like multiple feet of hair in the process. So you can do that old process in its entirety if you want and you may grow your hair, but it may have some issues, which I'm gonna jump into. So first I want to let you know what I loved about my old routine, cause not everything in there was bad. Some stuff was really good. Some stuff was really juicy, okay? But it, it was phenomenal, it was great. And so I wanna let you know what that was. First, I talked about different mindset tools in that video. That was towards the end of the video so if you didn't watch towards the end then you probably don't know what I'm talking about but I talked about mindset tools that I use and that was really crucial in my growth because it helped me to love and embrace my hair more which is very important in this process for you to understand how your hair works for you to have a certain mindset around what it means to grow natural hair stuff like tracking your natural hair growth is very important like I was doing length checks every single month and it kept me motivated it kept me going and I would encourage any and every everybody to do that. The second thing that I incorporated into my hair growth routine was signature low manipulation natural hairstyles. What do I mean by that? One, signature meaning I knew this is my hairstyle for this length and this is what I will be rocking. So when I wash my hair and I get out the shower, I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't have to waste brain energy thinking about it. I don't have to go searching through YouTube and I get faster and quicker and more skilled at doing it. So it's a pretty quick process. That's what I mean by signature. Like I knew, okay, with my TWA, I do this style. When my hair is at my awkward length, I do this style. When my hair is at this length, I do this style. Like every single time I reached a new milestone in terms of the length of my hair, I had a specific style that I enjoyed visually. I, I thought they looked nice, you know, for what I was going for. I had a single signature style that I would do and I stuck with it. Now, the low manipulation piece, I did not add hair to my hair. I used my own hair. I did my hair every two weeks, so I wasn't really bothering it. I had, and I didn't, I didn't retwist it at night. I didn't do all kinds of crazy stuff. I did my hair on wash day, uh, and then I did maybe one other thing a week in, and then I kept it moving, that's it. So I did not have my hands in my hair doing stuff with it all the time manipulating it all the time. So signature styles that were low manipulation. And the third thing that I did that was really, really helpful for me that I, I still would recommend people do, especially if they're trying to grow their hair, is to have a consistent routine. Say it with me, consistency. 
is the key to hair growth, length, retention, the things that y'all are looking for in life, really. But also in hair growth, consistency is the answer. So I wash my hair every two weeks. I didn't wash my hair every week back then. It was every two weeks. I was twisting my hair up. That would have been too much to be doing every week. So I wash my hair every two weeks and I knew exactly what I was doing in those two weeks. I knew the first week I was wearing twists. I knew the second week I was wearing a twist out because I was gonna unravel those twists. And then I knew after that it was time to wash my hair again. And I would keep up with my routine. I was very consistent with my routine. It was just something that I did. I was in college, I made it happen and it worked for me. So those are the things I would still recommend for my old hair routine. Now, there are certain things that didn't work out for me in that old hair routine. So I wanna go into some of the trials that I had before I go into the specific things that I would change. So what I noticed after growing my hair for years, like literally like six, seven years, was one, I had a lot of single strand knots. I was getting single strand knots all the time. It's like I just like couldn't avoid it. I, I couldn't control it. I didn't understand why it was happening. Another thing that I got that, oh my gosh, it blew my mind and I just, I couldn't understand why this was happening. I was getting mid shaft splits. So you know how you have split ends, right? Where the ends of your hair was split. The split was happening in the middle of my hair. So like if this is my hair strand, right? Am I gonna be able to do this? If this is my hair strand, it would look like this. Like it's together here. <laughs> this is so weird, but I don't know how else to explain this to y'all. It was together here, it was together here, but there was a split in the middle. Like you could literally see through it. And so I would be looking and there's like a bubble here and then a bubble there and then a bubble there. And I'm just like, why is my hair splitting in the middle? I don't understand. <laughs> I. It's because my hair, even though I was using all these oils and butters and things, which again, we'll get into later, but I was using all these oils and butters and things, and so my hair looked like it was moisturized on the outside, but on the inside, it was dying. It was dry, and so it was splitting, Ugh. and it set me back. But I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm still recovering from that. Most of it's cut off at this point, but I'm still recovering from that. So once again, I would have been able to grow my hair longer faster if I was properly hydrating my hair, which I was not, unfortunately. It's okay, I learned the lesson the hard way, so you don't got to. That's what I'm trying to, I mean, there's angry people under my videos. All I'm trying to let y'all know is the hard lesson that I learned so that you ain't gotta learn it, okay. The other reason that I would recommend some changes is because ain't nobody got time for that. It used to take me hours. Uh, and I don't have time for that no more. So um, that's why I don't do that. And um, I would recommend some other things that I think are easier. So on to the things that I would change. One, I would not pre-poo. It's not necessary to pre-poo, especially, especially not for my hair. If you're someone who wants to conserve water and you don't wanna, you, you feel like it's gonna take you too long to detangle in the shower. And so you want to detangle before you get in the shower and start your shampoo process and everything. And that's totally fine. It's not necessary to do a pre-poo. I don't recommend doing a pre-poo unless you just like wanna waste some time. That's got some time to kill, personally. But you can do it. I wouldn't do it. I don't recommend it, but you can do it. Again, it's your hair, your body, your life. I would not add oil to my deep conditioners. I wouldn't use oils or butters at all. And I definitely would not add things like bananas to a deep conditioner. The molecules that are in food, like bananas or avocado, or coconut milk and all those other things that we like to DIY and put in our hair. It's too big to actually penetrate our hair shafts. And so it really doesn't do much of anything. You're better off just like eating that stuff and getting products that are well formulated to actually do what it needs to do for your hair. Which brings me to number three. I would use different products. I would use well formulated plant-based products that are made by professional people specifically for natural hair. So that's pretty much what I do now. I mean, the things that I do now, I still would recommend. If you've watched my videos and the things that I do for my hair now, I'm growing my hair now. Y'all have dreams? I saw this picture. I have 
have dreams of being able to wear my hair like in a stretched state, but like it be curly, but like down to my waist in its curly state. So that's my next goal. So feel free, you know, track me. Of course, I'm gonna be documenting and be showing y'all. But I have goals. So I'm growing, I'm in the process of growing my hair right now. I just am growing it using different methods. And I don't get, it's so crazy, it's so wild. I do not get single strand knots the same, I mean, I still get them, but not at the same rate that I used to. I don't have those mid shaft splits. My hair is actually, I know I talked about how I don't really care about my hair being soft, but my hair, I noticed the other day, I just like kind of can't keep my fingers out of it, which is kind of a problem because I need to, but it's so soft. Like it feels so good. But anyways, for people who had questions about that last video that I dropped, because I'm sure it could be confusing, like this goes against everything that you've been saying. It does, you're correct. I just, I do want to let people know I wasn't always, yeah, I wasn't always this way. Yes, I will be transparent about what I did in the past. I'm happy to share that with you. I'm like getting out of this idea of being a perfectionist. I'm not perfect. I didn't do everything right before. And so if somebody asked me what I used to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> And I had the video, so I might as well just show it to you. Anyways, I hope that this was helpful. Now you can take that old video with the context of this new video and put it together with all this other yummy information that I'm giving you and make some, make some curly hair magic. <laughs> Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with someone you love who would benefit from this information. Um, 